this is Jessica with Dining Traveler, and I'm here with Paola Velez, the executive pastry chef at Kith and Kin at the Intercontinental Wharf Hotel. So tell me a little bit of what you do here. So this is an Afro-Caribbean uh, restaurant, and we try to take the whole diaspora and our personal memories of what it means to be um, from our heritage and from our descents into our dishes. So we give you our history on a plate, basically. Oh, I love that history on a plate. Yeah. And you are, you were telling me you're Dominican parents, you have some Puerto Rican influence through yeah. marriage and through yeah. other family members. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more how that influences the, your, the dishes that you prepare here? I, I grew up half in the um, United States and half in the Dominican Republic. And I was able to experience both um, the hustle and bustle of growing up in Washington Heights and in the Bronx as well and then just experiencing um, just Latin cuisine from the Dominican Republic where we grew everything in our own mm. backyard I would go and pick avocados with my grandmother and nacho then then we would um, buy rice from the local market and make a meal uh, for the neighborhood mm -hmm. every day at noon mm -hmm. so it's very early morning <laughs> when I was in the Dominican Republic that prepared you to be a chef right <laughs> But uh, it was very interesting because I had all of these tropical flavors that are exotic to us here in the States mm -hmm. at my disposal, at my fingertips, basically. Mm -hmm. So I grew up waking up just picking like passion fruit and papaya and knocking down a coconut <laughs> and that was my breakfast. And we were talking about being Latino and putting that influence in your food and I think that for me as a food writer I feel that sometimes Latinos even though we're in the kitchens, yeah. we're in the farms, we're in the wineries, um, we're still very invisible from that food conversation. Yeah. Like how do you feel about that? I think it's a it's a process. We have to work really hard mm -hmm. to almost prove ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people think that when I'm at an event, if I'm just standing next to someone, they'll be like, oh, you're cook. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're like, well, no, this is actually executive pastry chef. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> this is an awkward conversation. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And um, it's like proving to people that we're, our flavors are worth being expressed in a fine dining uh, mm -hmm. concept. And it's not cheap food. It's not just something that you get when you're a little hungry or, or for mm -hmm. right before you go to the club or something like that. No, this is a dining experience and our heritage is uh, worth telling, you know? Exactly, write that down. Our heritage <laughs> is worth telling. I'm very passionate about that too, so yeah. I'm like, yay. <laughs> Yeah. And um, also you were telling me about um, the mentorship and, you know, building other, mm -hmm. especially female yeah. uh, cooks and chefs. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So I have two cooks right now. I have a, se a team of seven, mm -hmm. but I have two cooks that work directly under mm -hmm. me. And that's um, Nikki Rodriguez and Deandra Bailey. And they're probably two of the most talented individuals that I've met mm -hmm. this year alone. When I met them, their passion. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of that was lacking in the mm -hmm. industry. Um, everybody wants to be famous or everybody wants to mm -hmm. get rich quick, you know? Yes. And that hard work isn't there anymore. And these ladies are pulling in the hours. They're giving suggestions and we're tailoring things or they're asking me questions mm -hmm. on their time off on how to build their repertoire. So what advice do you give to people that want to get started in the business? Um, I gave this advice the other day. Um, don't be afraid to have a, a part-time job, mm -hmm. you know, uh, breaking into the industry or breaking into any industry mm -hmm. that's art related mm -hmm. um, is hard mm -hmm. because it's a subjective mm -hmm. uh, point of view of what is worth value and what is uh, trending. Mm -hmm. uh, so like that equation plus you might like, and you don't have experience is a recipe for disaster mm -hmm. for people starting out. Yeah. So I, when I started, I started in culinary school, just savory and I wanted to be pastry chef, mm. uh, but I didn't know how to segue mm. into it. Yeah. So I actually worked as a cook and then I did like bakeries. Mm -hmm. I just, no, like I didn't get paid, nothing. So mm. I was in New York struggling, mm -hmm. working as a cook, and then I would still work some more so that I, a lot of sacrifice went into mm -hmm. it. And that's how I was able to overcome Mm -hmm. But it's hard, right? Like, how do you tell somebody you might have to work for free or you might mm -hmm. have to sacrifice a birthday party or Christmas, you know? And my dad used to always say, que no hay gloria sin sacrificio. Right. There's no glory without sacrifice. Right. So I'm glad that you're reiterating that point. Right. And 
And going back to you know all the work that you've done and you've you know made these incredible recipes, like what what are some of the favorites? Like yeah. I know it's very hard to pick your favorite kids, but <laughs> you can tell us at least a little bit about what what are those um, dishes that you're like, oh, I love those. Anywhere yeah. that the diaspora has been, like the African diaspora has been spread, mm -hmm. um, I can choose from anywhere. Mm -hmm. I could go to Honduras and Panama. I can go mm -hmm. to all of Central America. Mm -hmm. I can do any of Africa, all of the Caribbean, the American South. It's a it's a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. you know. So I I made a rum cake that reminds me of <laughs> of my family's recipe. Mm -hmm. You know, we um, in like Spanish culture we like to um, tin it. Mm -hmm. You know, and we save it in a little tin. Mm -hmm. Usually, you think it's cookies, and it's either uh, sewing needles yeah. or, or, or <laughs> my it's mom still cake. does. That. <laughs> so you're like, well, what, what? Will it be cookies, sewing needles, or rum cake? I don't know. You know, um, and that kind of was. Um, I was able to do something that wasn't like super fancy, mm -hmm. um, but I used the best ingredients that I could find. Mm -hmm. I actually uh, was able to work with Valrona, and they have a Dominican chocolate oh. um, that's uh, sourced uh, ethically um, from the Dominican Republic, and my family uh, grows chocolate in the Dominican Republic. Okay. So that was like, like full circle. And for those right. who don't know, Valrona is like one of the top brands right. for uh, for pastry right. chocolate. Right. Well, and then uh, the thickum. And the thickum, yeah, the cookie. So yeah. let's talk about the cookie. Okay, yeah. So um, I've been working on it for seven years, and I just felt like this was the place to roll it out. Um, Kith and Kin is a very uh, safe space. We we can express ourselves. Food-wise, cooks mm -hmm. are able to like come with ideas to Chef Kwame. So I brought up the idea of a cookie, and he's like, a cookie? And I'm like, a cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then now I think um, I have like a, a like a semi cult following <laughs> and it's like freaking me out because like i'll go to new york and they're like thickum lady and i'm like oh no <laughs> you know and people know well now you know you're doing something right if, right. They're, yeah. if you're being addressed by yeah. your by your dessert Cook name yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah and i'm like everybody's like super excited because not only have they they heard a name like that in a fine mm -hmm. dining establishment mm -hmm. but also it's just a good cookie it's the crunchy on the outside thick and gooey on the inside we use three types of chocolate and a little bit of mild on it's amazing thank you so much pa yeah, paola for your you. time i know thank you're you. a super busy lady so i'm so glad that i was able to to sneak you in for this thank interview you. and uh come and check her out she's at kith and kin and that is at the intercontinental the wharf it's always busy here so definitely make a reservation yeah. thank you thank you <laughs>